Hey everybody, thanks for coming back to my channel. So this is me before I do my contour highlight and bronzing with this new CoverGirl True Blend Contour Palette. And this is the after. And look at the shape of my cheeks and the highlight. I absolutely love this. And it's very simple. It's not gonna overdo it where it's a very harsh contour and a harsh highlight. So I want you to stay tuned. I'm gonna take you step by step through this. So this is the palette that I got. It is for the darker skin. And as you can see, I'm gonna start with the bronzing of the face. So bronzing is just gonna basically warm up the skin, put color into the skin, no matter how dark or how light you are. So I'm gonna start with that bronze color. It's the last one in the palette. And I'm going to be putting that in a three formation on the sides of my face. So right there, I'm gonna be using an e.l.f. brush and just kind of putting it in a three formation, just taking a little bit of that. And many of you probably will say, I can't really see much, but trust me, you'll be able to see it when you're in the sun or in better lighting or even taking pictures. You'll see that warmth given to the skin. So that's what I'm doing right here. Just again in that three four formation. So it's kind of underneath the cheekbones, underneath the jawline and right on the top of the forehead both sides and you can also put it on the sides of your nose but in this case I chose not to but I will do that for the contour absolutely love this brush this brush can be used for foundation for powder as well as your bronzing up the skin so now let's get into the contour that's the second one in the palette it's the deeper one in the palette and as you can see I'm gonna go right underneath the jawline a little bit underneath where the bronzing is I'm gonna use a thinner brush this brush you can get from everywhere. Um, I'm not positive where I got this brush from, but you all know you can get this brush from everywhere. But as you can see, I'm just drawing that stark line right underneath the jaw line, as well as underneath the jaw bone, or cheekbone, I should say. And then I'm using a brush, or sorry, a sponge that I absolutely love from eBay. It's a Soho London sponge that you can also get at Walmart starting at the top of the ear right on down as you can see just draw your line and then you can thicken it out there's many ways that you can do this technique but I'm choosing to do it this way because I do want this to stand out a little bit and then kind of going over it where I'm just kind of blending it out where it's not too stark of a line now I'm going to take the same brush with that contour color, the deeper color, down the sides of my nose. You can also do this with the bronze one if you don't want such a stark line, but I did want it to be a little bit darker than the bronzing. And again, the sponge will blend things out where there's no stark, stark line. Now I'm going to take it on my eyelids right in the crease as you can see I have more of a monolid but I do have a little bit of a crease that you can kind of see and I just want that to stand out a little bit more and so that's why I'm going in with the deeper contour color I want this to be a very natural look so that's why I'm doing that no eyeshadow just a little bit of definition to be brought into the eye now into the highlight Yes, I'm going in with that top color, and this has such a soft shimmer. I'm gonna go right down the uh, middle of my nose just to kind of highlight right there with this e.l.f. shader brush that I got for $1 from Target. And then taking my finger, finger just to kind of blend it out. You can also take the sponge if you'd like. Now I'm going underneath the eyebrow with the same shade. Look at that, I just love the coloring of this it's not too stark it is such a pretty color and you can put shadow over this if you want to I chose not to now I'm going with that same highlight and I'm going to go on the top of the cheekbones and I'm using just a flat sponge that I got I believe it was from Mac I can't remember but just a flat sponge and I'm just kind of going over the tops of the cheekbones and this was strong I'm like wow it was really, really pretty. I really, really liked the look of that, but I did want to kind of soften it out a little because it was very, it was stark. It was, it was pretty, pretty, pretty loud. And I did a little bit in the center of the forehead and I'm just kind of going over with a nice, clean, real technique sponge and just kind of blend that out, making sure that it's not too much. And that's my look. I hope that you all like this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you do your monthly breast check. And I'll see you in another video. Take care, guys.